Hello, everyone. My name's Stacy, and I'm not good at math, because once I miscalculated something, well, it had nothing to do with my studies, but I'm still paying for my mistake. The thing is, my idea turned against me. Once I assumed if my mom was dating my teacher, I would have excellent grades, but this was not the case. I'm not a straight-A student, but I'm doing pretty well. Well, I love history. I have top results there as well as in literature. I also draw very well, but as for the rest, I'm just an average student. But math totally ruins my academic record. And that's because my math teacher is a really nasty guy. He doesn't know such words like mercy and compassion. Sometimes I even think he devours school kids for breakfast and dinner. And if you think I'm exaggerating, or just I'm the one to blame, you're wrong. The whole class, and even the whole school, had suffered from this monster. After his classes, even the nerds would cry their heart out in the school bathrooms. And once, me and my friends decided to go to the movies after school. We wanted to see a new melodrama. There was a character there, a man who was very nasty. We immediately started joking about our math teacher, then tried to figure out how such a terrible person got involved in a cute love story. But another main character, a woman, said he was a real sweetheart. He was just very lonely. So they somehow got together. And this mean and nasty guy turned into a kind and understanding man. And that pushed me to some thoughts. The thing is, we all knew that being lonely makes people angry. So maybe our math teacher was so mad and nasty because he didn't have a woman. And he somehow had to express his pain. As he spent most of his time at school, the school kids suffer. Well, those were only our guesses. But they seemed well-founded. The question was... Who in the world would pluck up the courage to melt this terrible ice in his heart? And then we took a closer look at him. We realized that, in fact, he wasn't so bad. He was 40, and he looked younger. He was tall. He hadn't lost much of his hair, and he had some regular features. If it weren't for his stupid turtlenecks and old jackets, and his look of a serial killer, I would even admit he was somewhat handsome. We even noticed our librarian often looks in his direction. And our chemistry teacher who keeps saying, my sixth husband ran away from me, always brings him homemade cakes. Except that it didn't mean anything. I mean, we didn't exactly know if he had someone or not. We decided to use Mary to spy on him. She's always been good at intelligence. So once she waited until there was no one in the teacher's room, snuck in there, opened the computer, and found the math teacher's dossier. She quickly copied that on her USB. We paid her 15 bucks for this. At home, I opened the dossier and found out that our tormentor was single. Well, the theory had been confirmed, I thought to myself, remembering the recent movie. Then, I noticed my mom often looks in the mirror. She also keeps talking about being old, and sometimes she regretfully squints at the kissing couples on the street. And sometimes she was angry at me, even because of some trifles. For some reason, it occurred to me that my mom was actually a human being, a woman and stuff, since Dad left us six years ago, she hasn't dated anyone. And then it clicked in my head. And it was like a math problem. But here, I had a lonely math teacher, one piece, and my mom, one piece, and some prospects. But at that moment, the prospects in my head were fabulous. I could just see the two of them together, holding hands, eating ice cream, laughing, watching the sunset, smiling, and looking at each other in the eyes. And they are very grateful to me for their personal happiness. The teacher gives me excellent grades, and my mom showers me with pocket money and lets me spend the night at parties. This idea got me lit up, and I felt it my personal duty to bring the two of them together no matter what. I just needed to. Unfortunately, it wasn't for the sake of their personal happiness. Somehow, I was thinking more of my good grades, but I should have realized long ago that life's unfair. You want one thing, but you get something totally different, and you don't like it. Anyway, but I'd made up my mind. The only thing left was to bring them together somehow. And that was quite challenging, because my mom had no reason to come to school. And as for the teacher, why would he come to our place anyway? I even thought he never leaves school. He was like a devil living in hell. My head worked like crazy trying to bring the two of them together. I was even afraid someone else would come up with my brilliant idea and take the math teacher away from my mom. After all, most of my classmates had single moms, or maybe aunts or even older sisters. And this idea was on the surface. But luck smiled on me, or rather, my bad luck. Well, at first, I thought things were going my way, but then, you got me, right? Once, I brought a can of Coke from the cafeteria to finish my drink at recess. I put the can on the edge of my desk. Honestly, I forgot about it. 
because recess always finishes quickly, and I needed to discuss with my classmates everything that had happened to me during the weekend. Well, it turned out our teacher was walking between the rows with the test for us. The can was just sitting on the edge of the desk, and I kept twisting on my chair, trying to hint to our nerds I desperately needed help. At one moment, my elbow pushed the open can. I swear, it was the first time I understood the expression, time slowed down. I really saw it all in slow-mo. I watched the can slowly falling on the floor in front of the teacher. The blast wave splashed almost in his face. Well, it also splashed on everyone nearby. I don't know. Maybe the teacher would have led me to the principal's office. I was so nervous, and I... I started laughing. I have this thing. When I feel really nervous, I usually laugh. Yeah, it's a stupid habit, because once I broke my arm falling into a pit, when the emergency team arrived, the doctors thought it was just a bad prank because I was laughing so hard. Anyway, the teacher thought I was laughing at him. Like, it was kind of a personal insult. And these things normally don't go unnoticed. You're gonna have a record in my personal file. So, the teacher called my mom to school. You know, he gave me a disgusting little pink piece of paper with a school seal on it. Well, then everything worked out in the best way. My mom scolded me, but I somehow hinted to her the math teacher was somewhat handsome. I also said he was promising, lonely, and very interesting. I think my mom thought I was somewhat of a pervert, and middle-aged men attracted me. But I was just interested in their relationship. So, before going to school, I put on bright makeup and my best dress. My mom and teacher talked. Then, I arranged things in a way that my mom would take me from school several times. I wanted these lovers to meet each other several more times. Well, my plan succeeded. One morning, my mom told me, we're having a family dinner tonight with your math teacher. But life showed me not all things go my way. Or rather, my mom and the teacher were doing well. They went on dates. My mom always smiled and often brought home some giant bouquets. And the teacher somehow started smiling in the middle of class. Over time, I learned that actually he was a nice guy, not some Grinch from the Lonely House. Seems like things were going beautifully, if it weren't for one big but. Of course, my plan worked out brilliantly. The teacher was so kind that it even seemed to us he had been replaced by someone else. He became easygoing. He wasn't scolding us for our mistakes. The amount of homework has significantly decreased. He gave us all good grades and stopped humiliating us, but not me. My education turned into a real hell, because the teacher's mean character somehow remained, and I was his personal scapegoat. He was always picking on me, and he never missed a chance to mark something in my dossier. Somehow, I needed to become another Stephen Hawking to get at least a C. I didn't know what I needed to do to get a B. And it looked as if that wasn't enough for him, because a torment continued at home. The teacher had moved in with us by then. He was eating my brain like a hungry shark and he never stopped until he got the results he wanted from me. He always checked my homework and criticized it. He made me read some extra books on math. There were too many of them. He made me learn literally everything. He was in the habit of unexpectedly asking me about some topic on math when we were at home. Of course, I wasn't always ready. In this case, the number of textbooks grew bigger, and the amount of my free time sharply decreased. And Mom, instead of supporting me, she played along. She told me he was doing it all for my own sake, and she punished me by depriving me of my pocket money. She even locked me up in my house, and all sorts of these stupid parental things. I hated that with all my heart. It was a real nightmare. Eventually, I even saw math in my sleep. Some giant formulas attacked me behind the bushes and dragged me into the scary world of numbers. I started screaming in my sleep. I hate math more than anything, and I hate myself too because it was my plan to bring these two lovebirds together. And why in the world did I ever think they would leave me alone after they got together? Now, I have only one thought in my head. Well, except for these infinite freaky theorems, formulas, and all sorts of math knowledge. Anyway, how can I make this hellish couple break up now? I don't care if the teacher becomes nasty and evil again, and my mom's single again. I just want my personal nightmare to end. God almighty, am I asking too much? But what scares me the most... The thought that they decide to get married one day. In this case, I would probably be a mathematical nut in the city asylum. Like the psychos that write all sorts of formulas on the walls. I would write the Pythagorean theorem and draw sinusoids. Write in the comments what you think about my story. Click on the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to stay tuned. See you later.